Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how Windows API functions are used in Python scripts. Have you watched the other video on our channel where a simple executable was programmed using C language to create a file and write some data to it? I encourage you to watch it before this one. You can find the link to it in the description box below. In this video, we will discuss how Python programs that interact with Windows API functions can be written. The goal is to write a Python script that creates a file. We will use the Create File API. When we wrote a C program to achieve the same goal, we could directly call the API by specifying various parameters, like the file name and text to be written. In a Python script, the process is not straightforward. There is a special Python library called ctypes that must be used when calling Windows API functions present in dynamic link libraries. The Create File API has many parameters. We will need to specify the data type and values of all those parameters in our Python script. Let's take a look how. We will build the Python script to create a file in stages. First, the required imports are made. The WinTypes library contains a mapping between the data types used in Windows functions and C types. We ask C types to make use of the kernel 32 dynamic link library. The data types of all the arguments for create file function is defined. The return value is defined as well. Values of the different function parameters are defined and used in the function call. Upon successful file creation, a file handle is returned. Now, I will execute the script. We can see that a text file has been created successfully. Here is a project idea for you. Write a Python program to create a new process for Notepad application. You can use the Create Process Windows API for this. It contains two parameters of types, start up info and process information. These two parameters do not have definitions in the Python C types library. These two types are each data structures with multiple fields of information. You will need to write Python code to define values for all the fields in the structure before you can use it as input for the create process API function. Try it out. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.